problem says a isosceles right triangle has a perimeter of 94 plus 94 times screw 2 inches. What is the length in inches of one leg of this triangle? So let's draw a triangle out here. And this is isosceles triangle. So if we call this L for length, these two must be equal. And then we'll just call this last part X or something. All right. So we're trying to find the actual length. So the value of one of the legs, we're trying to find L uh, based off given perimeter. So what we can do here is set up an equation, right? So L plus L plus X must be equal to 94 plus plus 94 times square root 2. Okay, cool. So we have this expression set up. What would make this super easier to solve is you can see that this is expressed in L's or length. And the only thing not expre expressed in length is our current hypotenuse value we've called x. If we do get this hypotenuse value expressed in x, then we have a like term, and so then we can just isolate and solve for that term, right? And that would ultimately give us the length of one of those uh, legs, because we define legs as just uh, length or L. So how do we do that? Well, we would have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we know that in a right triangle, because this is isosceles right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So in this case, length squared plus length squared, oops, length squared must be equal to x squared. And so this here is just 2l squared. So let me write 2l squared equals x squared. And then we just isolate and solve for x. So we take the square root of both sides. We're left with the square root of 2. And then the square root of L squared is just L. And so that is equal to X. And so that is our final portion. So we can rewrite this part up here. Instead of X, we can just replace it with this form. Square root 2 times the length. Right like this. And then what we can do is to avoid a bunch of algebra is to just call our length a random variable. Let's just say X. So now it's all like terms and then solve for the value of x or length. So you can see down here, this is what I've done in Desmos. I've just put in what we had over here and then found the solution, which is 66.46804. And looking at our answer choices, we can see it lines up with 47 times square root 2. 47 times square root 2 down here is also 66.468037. Uh, that rounds to uh, four there, and therefore B must be our correct answer for that question.